Hey man, you still ready to shoot tomorrow? Yeah, dude, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, whenever I blink, I can't see it, so I can't make it. I gotta go to the doctor's. Bye. What the f Why are people not showing up to your sets? This can be answered with one word. Credibility. I want you to consider three things. Your portfolio, what you're asking of people, and what you're offering. Number one, your portfolio. Do you have a portfolio that looks great or, and stands above the competition? No, you don't even have a portfolio? Strike one. Two, what you're asking of people. Making short films takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort. You're asking these people to take a couple days, maybe even give up a weekend to work on a film that they don't even know where it's going or they've seen your portfolio and think, yeah, that's not worth my time. Strike two. Number three, we're indie filmmakers. I understand we can't pay anybody. We don't have that kind of budget. Most we can really pay them in is food, but you're giving them set experience or a portfolio piece, a portfolio piece that again, they don't know what that's going to do their portfolio and they think that's not gonna add to it. Strike three, your portfolio and your credibility is what is going to determine whether or not someone will commit to your set. If you have a portfolio that looks cinematic and looks great and stands out above the competition, then people will of course commit to your film without even questioning it because they know that they're working towards something that looks great and can add to their portfolios. If your work is going to degrade their portfolios, then no wonder why they're going to flake out on you. This is why we always say this in our course, story is not the only thing that matters. The story is not enough to sell people on working on your film. You need to be able to show them your previous work that then convinces them to get onto your sets. So get out, make more films, practice, and up the quality of your portfolio. Now, how do you up your cinematography game? I can't tell you all of that in this one video. So go ahead and check out our 30 minute training video in the description below. But other than that, everyone, remember your work is only just as good as the fun that you had creating it. My name is Will Tran and I'll see you in the next video.